Good morning. The U.S. administration appears to believe that imposing illegal draconian sanctions on Iran will bring about such pain to our nation that it will force us to submit to its will, no matter how absurd, unlawful, or fundamentally flawed its demands are. We have better difficult times in the face of 40 years of American hostility, relying solely on our own resources. And today, we and our partners across the globe will ensure that our people are least affected by this indiscriminate assault in the economic warfare that directly targets the Iranian people, notwithstanding hypocritical claims by the Trump administration to the contrary. But rather than relying on its discredited addiction to unilateralism and sanctions as tools of straightcraft, which are today pushing it further into global isolation, the U.S. is better off addressing the catastrophes and crises it has engineered in our region. Where to begin? In 1953, or in Afghanistan, where the U.S. created Al-Qaeda to fight the Soviets. Or Iraq, where it supported Saddam Hussein, including his use of chemical weapons against Iran. Or the later invasion of Iraq, to supposedly rid Saddam of those very weapons of mass destruction. Or is it that the long-standing and unconditional support for two clients, Saudi Arabia and Israel blinds the U.S. to their appalling atrocities that have resulted in global indignation and engendered insecurity to us all, the U.S. itself included. Taking a long, hard look at its own wrong choices and changing in its, its approach from a failed one it has stubbornly followed for decades instead of prescribing behavioral changes for Iran, will be far more effective in bringing about resolution to conflict and crises that have bedeviled the Middle East for far too long. President Trump's predecessors also began crafting their Iran policy with similar bravado, but came around to accepting and respecting the reality of Iran as they became more experienced in office. My name is Javad Zarif, and this is Iran's message.